Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are mixing in a little American football right here. we got a full case rig of 2018 Panini Elite Football. Pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big, big thank you to these folks right here on a Friday night. All 12 boxes, Elite Football. It's actually uh, Paul Cool Whit with the Green Bay Packers. And there's everyone else. Where's Sam? Sam Roll has a number of teams in this. He's been pushing that elite, helping me move that elite football break. Sam, wake up. Oh, man, I hope he, hope he doesn't miss it. All right, this is actually technically Panini Donruss elite football, if you want to be specific, as it says on the sticker right there. I know, I got, I've, been, I've been shaking up... <laughs> Scott noticing that the ink's running low. I've been shaking the toner cartridge, you know, trying to do all the little tricks to, 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 to stretch out the life of that cartridge. But I think it's getting to that time where we just have to, where we just have to change it. All right, we've got... We've got four right here. We've got another four right here. And we've got another four right here. That makes 12. All right. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Steve Case just says, just let it go. Let, 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 let the ink go. Move on. Amazon deals. Oh, the thing is... <laughs> You guys, thing is, we actually have an extra cartridge right now. Maybe even two. I just like to I just like to see how long I could stretch it. Now some of you may be thinking, Wait, do you do that with like gas too in your car? Maybe. Maybe. Steel Curtain says we've sold a definitive baseball spots tonight to afford some new toner. You know what? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I will maybe I will change the toner after this break. I think I feel like we deserve it. I feel like we deserve it. Joe Howard says low low ink don't make money. Black and gold says penny pinch. We got to penny pinch. This is how that's how rich people become rich. By penny pinching. That's the whole idea. We want to be rich. We are a for-profit business. We don't want ink eating into our profits. Expensive toner. I wonder if it's cheaper just to buy a new printer. Cody West in the house. It's not, but... Toner's a scam, though. Um, I get a notification on my computer when, my, when the toner is running low. Air quotes. And um, it told me ink was running low like three weeks ago. You guys didn't even notice. It's been at 0% for three weeks. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. So we're going to breeze through a lot of this. We're going to breeze by these numbered cards as well, but they'll get sleeved and top-loaded before, uh, before they get shipped out. Now this, just for fun, we're going to try to build out of the 12 boxes someone's last name. We haven't gotten, we haven't completed it once. We've gotten, we got close with Drew Brees. Ooh, nice Melvin Gordon. Passing the torch, 41 out of 49 autograph for the Bolts. That'll be for Antonio. So yeah, so Drew Brees is the only one we got close to, but that was it. All right, Antonio on the board early. He's got to like that. So I'm going to put those to the side. Just in the interest of time, I can make Von Miller. And DJ Moore, Pen Pals autographs. All the rookies are now in their pro gear, which makes life e a little bit easier for me. Mike Thomas with the Panthers. All right, Von. So we got Wilson. Wilson! And Von Miller. So Co with the Seahawks, and Steve Freeze with the Broncos. We're going to try to make those last names. For those of you watching it, watching from home, stay tuned. Will Joe make all those letters out of 299? Kelvin Benjamin. It's 
out of 43, out of 43 for the Broncos. Jewel, Jared Goff to 299. Tyreek Hill to 299. Bill Talent says a low toner notification is like a check engine light. No one cares. Uh, people care about check engine light, right? No? I feel like most of the time it's like, hey, it's time for your 75,000 mile service. So they scare you to taking into the dealership or whatever. All right, throwback threads. Nice Jim Kelly, 96 out of 99 for the Bills. That goes to Daniel with the Bills. Nice. Let's set that right there. Lamar Jackson out of 199. Joe Hauer, how do you feel about Lamar Jackson? Lamar Jackson told us at the NFLPA rookie premiere that if he was not playing professional ball, that he would want to try his hand at being a stand-up comedian. There you go, trivia. I wonder how they'll use Lamar Jackson this year. I heard they're trying to maybe maybe try some wildcat formations, maybe maybe some receiver, running backish type stuff, kind of an all-around player, maybe some trick plays with his arm. I wonder how long it'll take before, you know, let's say Joe Flacco has a few uh, has a few bad games. <laughs> yeah, Joe Howard says Lamar Jackson can make some jokes about Flacco's play the last two years. So how long before Lamar Jackson starts to st starts to start? How long before fans in Baltimore are like, <laughs> we want Lamar, we want Jackson chance? Joe Howard's a Ravens guy. He's our he's our Ravens insider. Next year, says Joe. All right. Joe Howard and Kip Johnson, Kip Kip Hooray, are our Ravens insiders. So next year, that's true. You got Crabtree. Joe Flacco can still throw a bomb or two, right? To to old to old crabs. Cody West thinks that Lamar's Lamar Jackson's body can't take too much NFL punishment. He's bigger than he's bigger than uh, he's bigger than uh, Baker Mayfield, I think. At least from what I saw in person. Primary colors, Jarvis Landry, that is to 10. Or no, that is to that is to 10. 7 out of 10. Piece of his cleat made it look like an 8. <laughs> That's right, William. I was not a I was not a Duke, though. I wasn't even in there. Oh, pen pals, dual autograph. Speaking of the Ravens, there's Lamar Jackson. And maybe, maybe he'll have a relationship with Hayden Hurst as a uh, pass-catching tight end, late first round. That's a nice dual autograph for Joe Hauer and his Ravens. You're welcome. All right, for the Packers. See all that Ravens talk, and look what happened. Ah, the thickness of the li uh, of the legs, Cody West says. So you're saying Mayfield is is thick, but Lamar Jackson built a little thinner. That's out of 24. Alex Collins for the Ravens, nice die cut. So the out of 25 and under, I'll usually top load right away just because they're lower numbers. So there you go, some nice Ravens there. I don't know, Cody West. I got to. Uh, we went to the NFLPA rookie premiere. We saw Lamar Jackson. We saw Sam Darnold. We saw Baker Mayfield. I felt like Baker Mayfield 
was the only guy that I had some pseudo confidence in being able to tackle. Maybe not in the open field, but maybe if I had a, if I got to his blind side and I was, <laughs> if I got to his blind side and he didn't see me, I feel like I could tackle Baker Mayfield. I feel like I couldn't tackle, I couldn't tackle Lamar Jackson from what I saw. Um, and I definitely would not be able to tackle Josh Allen. Josh Allen was as big as Bradley Chubb. Out of 149, turn of the century autograph for the Bengals, Mark Walton. He'd run me over, Cody West? I could, I could tackle Baker Mayfield if he was blindsided by me. Not, not in the open field. I'm not crazy, folks. I'm not delusional. I'm not saying in, open, in the open field. I'm just saying that if I had a shot at him, I could do it. There's Marquette King. Who could run around as well. Man, that's the only move. I think that's the only John Gruden move I haven't really liked. Some are, some are eyebrow raising, but I'll give Gruden the benefit of the doubt. Kind of wanted to keep Marquette King, though. Is that still, that's still Raiders edition of Marquette King, yeah. Craftsman Relic. I could tackle uh, Sam Darnold as well. I feel like if, if I got to Sam Darnold's blind side... Devontae Adams, and next box. Eric Jane says, what, if, if Baker was sleepwalking, I may be able to tackle him blindside? How tall am I tall enough to tackle Baker Mayfield, Cody West? Tall enough to, to tackle Baker Mayfield blindside. I'm not saying I could chase him down. My 40 times, like, 8 or 9 seconds. Um, Stephen K., have I ever read uh, Levi Leviathan by Hobbes? I have not. I'm more of a Calvin guy myself. Eric O. says he just shrugged me off. Maybe if he was kneeling, says Eric Chan. The Eric's ganging up on me. Come on. Where, where's Let's pull a Baker Mayfield. We'll look at his... We'll look at his size and stats. I could take him down. Look kind of short. A little. I mean, didn't look that thick, Cody West. Didn't didn't look like he had thick legs. I've got pretty. I got thick legs too. He was not six. Listed six one two twenty. Baker Mayfield. Actual height five eight one eighty five. Six one two twenty. That's 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 a lie. That's just what they put on the stat sheet. That's that's for the press. That's for the media guide. That's what you put on put on the back of the football card. Actual Baker Mayfield, 5'7", 160. I could tackle a guy that's 5'4". The Heisman straight arm duck right under that. You haven't seen my swim move, Eric Jennings. His hand would be, he tried to stiff arm me. I'd swim past that. I would get low. I would wrap. I would lift and I would drive down. That's what I would do. Watch out, Baker Mayfield. That's what I would do. Watch Eric Jennings. Come on now. But I could take down all 5 4 of, of Baker Mayfield. We got AJ Green, prime targets, 46 out of 49. That's for the Bengals. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. Oh, I see. Stephen K saying smaller man can beat bigger man. He can bash his head with the rock while the big man's asleep. See? Good old Hobbs. And I, I will take on that HBO special. I'll do it. Face-to-face. -face. 
And Jamon Moore. 42 out of 49. That'll be for Paul Cool Whit. Last spot mojo Packers. Now, these face to face cards, just as an FYI, we're going to do left right randomizers. And so I'll collect all the 299s together and we'll do left right, and then all the 99s together, left right, etc., etc., etc. Right, the HBO show. Right, you can't inform Baker Mayfield what's going on. Right. 7 out of 24. I guess I could tackle Drew Brees. But. You know, do I want to tackle Drew Brees? I don't know. He's kind of old. What is he, like 52? Can't tackle an old man. He's like 60 years old. Uh, out of 83, that's uh, Jerome. Is that another Baker? Jerome Baker. Are any? I don't think I've seen any parallels of this, but I like that insert set. All right, Scott McNulty saying, what, Baker Mayfield is going to be 3 foot, 110 pounds by the end of the break. Right, exactly. Baker Mayfield, about Ariana Grande's height and weight. Out of 699 for the Vikings. For the Buccaneers. R for Jordan Howard. And Cortland Sutton. Pen Pals autograph for the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo. Going to Steve Freeze. Now, Steve, I'll tell you, we also, Team Jaspies also met uh, Bradley Chubb at the NFLPA rookie premiere here in Los Angeles. Bradley Chubb. Definitely a massive figure. And when we got a uh, photo op with him, there's Christian McCaffrey. Actually, we have those photos somewhere. When we got our photo op with him, I, I shook his hand. I asked him, hey, I know you're going to get yours, but hey, can you can you go easy on Derek Carr when you sack him? He said no. <laughs> All right, there's Jordan Howard. We'll try to make his name right there. All right, next box. Mr. Chubb is a person that I would not want to tackle, not want to block, not want to get hit by him. He's definitely like, he's like six, he's like seven, two, 300 pounds and runs a three, eight, 40 or something like that. This guy's terrifying. Well, I feel, I said when he sat, <laughs> I said when you sack him, that's what I told him. I figured he would get he would eventually get his. I just said be careful when you sign, you know, don't don't injure him. You know, just No, the, the Raiders offensive tackle from like UCLA, I think, was not there at the rookie premiere. No, uh, who did we who did we meet? Um it was Bradley Chubb on the left side. I think in the middle was Josh Allen. Then there was um Next to him was uh, Lamar Jackson, and then the next seat over was Saquon Barkley. Um, then in the middle of them was Baker Mayfield, and then on the other side, on the end of the, on the end was Sam Darnold. They were actually all very nice. They 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 were all um, very personable. They answered all the Q and As from the audience. Um, you know, they played a bunch of silly games with with everybody and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. All right, there's Drew Brees. How tall is he? I could probably, I guess I could probably, probably sack him out of ninety nine. There's Carrion Johnson out of seventy nine. Seal Curtain. Unfortunately, we will not be at the national this year. We had thought about it, but then. 
There are some family things that came out with the Jaspersons and and whatnot. Some good, some not good. And just a lot of a lot of different circumstances kind of came up, and so we will not be at the national, unfortunately. But we are definitely we're gonna be moving stores soon too, moving locations here. We'll be in California, but there's Mason Rudolphs, the Red Nose Reindeer out of 99, 80 out of 99 for Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain, and the Steelers. That's the future right here. Big Ben doesn't want to help him. Won't help him. Not going to help him. So this face-to-face, -face, different parallel, the out of 99. So I'll collect all the 99s and do a left-right for the 99s. Primary colors, Dak Prescott, 299. And Kiki Kuti. Um, I don't know if it, we're moving north, Antonio, so I don't know if it's going to get any closer to you. Uh, that goes to the Texans. Nice pen pals on card autograph for Mike Thomas and the Texans. Now, I think we're moving closer to, to the airport, LAX, El Segundo. It's where the new LA Times office is going to be. I think there's. A lot of different businesses down there. There's you. That's not you like that. That's Alex Smith. That's right. Remember? <laughs> uh, Scott V with the Redskins. Oh, you could uh, Antonio. Yeah, I know you're in Long Beach. You could you could take the. Um, I guess you could take Kobe Bryant's helicopter from John Wayne, and you can get to LAX in no time. There's Mariota. Joe Flacco to 99. And Craftsman. Craftsman Relic. Going to the Cowboys, James, with the Ezekiel Elliott. Um, are we moving before September? It m could be as early as that. Just depends on if we find when we find the right spot. Boss man's been scouting out places and whatnot. Yeah, you got you got you got Kobe's number on speed. Oh, yeah, just Kobe's like Kobe. I gotta go visit Jaspie's really quick. I don't want to drive all the way up there. It's a long. It's a lot of traffic. Can I can I borrow the 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 Kobe copter? <laughs> Use that really quick. All right. Next box. Savros, what's going on? Oh, you'll be in town for Rams and Vikings at the end of September. So you're going to stop by and say, you definitely should stop by and say hi. Well, we'll, we'll be close to the stadium. I, I mean, we're closer to the stadium here in Redondo Beach, but... No, actually, we'll be... No, I think we'll be even closer to the stadium. If we move closer to El Segundo, uh, either way, we'd be closer to the airport. Yeah, we have, we have, if we move up to El Segundo, we will, actually will be even closer to the stadium. All right. So there you go, Clyde. It'll be a lot more convenient for you. Well, yeah, Clyde, shoot us an email before you come into town to remind us. Um, and, yeah, you should definitely stop by and say hello. But yeah, for for all for a lot of for a bunch of different reasons, folks, the national this did not work out for us. I'm afraid. But we are definitely targeting uh, 
targeting Chicago for the summer after this one. All right, Mike Kosicki, Dolphins. And nice turn of the century, Calvin Ridley autograph, 52 out of 99. Calvin Ridley on one side, Julio on the other side. That could be pretty scary. Do we, we, no, we need more of these other guys. I think the closest name that we have right now is Russell Wilson. Although they're different parallels, but we're getting there. Carson Wentz to 299. And Michael Gallup, Pen Pals autograph for James and the boys. Leonard Fournette to 299. And we've got out of 24. Marvin Jones Jr. die cut for the Lions. That'll be for Michael Galucci, Seal Curtain. There's Luke Keekley. Mason Rudolph to 199. Rokon Smith to 97 for the Bears. Out of 699 for the Panthers. And elite coverage, two color dual relic for the Saints. That'll be for Stephen K with the Saints. Speaking of the new stadium here in LA, folks, I believe I heard on the radio coming here to the store, there's Jalen Samuels, that the uh, that they have installed the biggest part of the stadium like this massive steel beam i think is finally been placed there out of 99 primary colors antonio brown they got all the construction workers to like to sign this like this big steel beam one of the main parts of the structure so it's getting there All right, next box. L.A., Los Angeles is going to be busy for the next, I think Los Angeles is going to be busy for the next, like, decade. I feel like we have, we have a I think we have a Super Bowl in a few years. We've got a the Super Bowl at the new stadium I think in maybe three to five years after the stadium opens I think, and then I think we have the Olympics. This is not in order. We have the Olympics in L.A. We've got possible World Cup matches here in L.A. The Dodgers are hosting an All Star game. There'll be a lot of things going on in Los Angeles. Eric Jane said, you saw players had to stop selling LeBron jerseys? I think those LeBron jerseys were probably not like author, like official LeBron jerseys. Um, I did, well, just outside of LA, Cody. So from downtown LA, I grew up about 40, 40 45 minutes east. But for, but... For all intents and purposes, it would be, it would be. I grew up in Los Angeles. I was born in Ohio, in Warren, Ohio, and then my folks moved out to Long Beach when I was really young. And then we moved into the Inland Empire.
Yeah, I can't imagine the, those LeBron jerseys were, were official jerseys that people were selling. Face to face. That's out of 75. And we've got 51 out of 99, Dallas Godare, waiting for Godare. That'll be for the Philadelphia Eagles, Michael Gallucci with the Eagles. Cody West said they were at a legit NBA store. Oh, man. Whoops. <laughs> what if LeBron was like, yep, that's it. That's, that's the deal breaker. That's out of 299 face to face. Oh, something Darren Ravelt he would have tweeted out. Darren Ravel's usually on top of it. It's for the Ravens out of 99. And more Ravens. We've got Terrell Suggs, Craftsman Relic. Um, not numbered, but another one for Joe and his Ravens. Frank Gore to 299. Imagine what there's the O of Jordan Howard. There's Karrion Johnson for the Lions. I think that's Michael Gallucci. Yeah, Steel Curtain with the Big Cats. Cat Team Mojo. Leonard Fournette to 99. And we got for the Rams, 1 out of 24, die cut, John Kelly. The Ramley, Clyde the Glide with the Rams. Set that right there. Can you believe like how much, uh, how much those LeBron as a Laker in like, Prism basketball or something like that. How much just a base card would go for his Laker jersey? There's Alvin Kamara to 99. There you go. I I have not put in order. I'm not really uh, I'm not really jersey guy. All right, well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes left. So we're just about halfway there. All right, so we're about halfway there. Coffee break? Yeah, coffee break. How are we doing on those spot randoms for definitive collection, folks? Angels is down to 18. Yankees spot random down to five. Excellent. So I think we should be in pretty good shape right here so I'm sure we'll we'll get those spot randoms and another case of definitive collection done after this break and then we'll still have um, we'll still have some time for some other ones too I need like a sippy cup Stephen K or maybe a, a straw all right Antonio feeling good about another hit so you got the Melvin Gordon early. Don't you have multiple teams too, right? I haven't seen any Raiders yet. There you go. Could be some Raiders. Jaguars too. Oh, a helmet? That would be great. With like the straws kind of going right here. Like a like a NASCAR driver or something like that. Or a, or a, a sports fan. Well you got the well you got the Melvin Gordon in box one, the Melvin Gordon autograph, Antonio. But then you but the Jaguars haven't hit 
And the Raiders haven't hit. Yeah, I'm not a Jersey guy, as Paul, Paul says. I'm more of a Jersey Shore kind of guy. A lot of, uh, lot of bro tanks, a lot of, a lot of fist pumping at clubs. Um, a lot of Red Bull and vodkas, a lot of aggressive dancing, a lot of drama. Maybe bleach my hair, the tips of my, my hair maybe. There's primary colors, Drew Brees to 99. Carson Wentz. And turn of the century autograph, 57 out of 99. Cortland Sutton, Oppo Joe Mojo for Steve Freeze and the Broncos. Can someone confirm, people who are or maybe in Jersey or have visited Jersey, is, is that real? Like, it's not, or is it like a caricature? I mean, it must be a character of, of people that live there, but I guess there are actually people that live there that do, that are like that, are like the people on Jersey Shore. Because I, I was thinking this, like, well, I guess the the real housewives of Orange County kind of do represent how housewives of Orange County are like. Makes sense. Dante Pettis, Pen Pal's Autograph. That goes to uh, Ricardo with the Niners. Harrison Smith to, to 299. Joe Howard says, Oh, it's true. I have some relatives that know some of those people. There you go. There you go. I guess it's, a, it's one of those situations where. That caricature, that stereotype, I guess, comes from comes from some truth. I thought I had more letters for Carson Wentz. Maybe not. I'm not getting close on any of these letters at all. Disappointing. We've got a nice die cut, Miles Garrett for the Browns. That goes to Matt and the Browns, the the eight and eight Browns this season. Boom. You just watch, folks. The eight and eight Browns. You heard it here first. Jerome Baker to eighty-three. Dallas waiting for Godair to eighty-six. And we've got another dual relic, another Michael Thomas dual relic for the Saints. Lead coverage, Stephen K. Go Saints. All right, next box. Make some room for myself here. I was more of a, a, a Spicoli. Um, I uh, I had a friend. His name was Vince. In high school, kind of looked like him. Eric Go says I had to laugh. I saw a quote from Jarvis Landry talking about how great and accurate Tyrod Taylor is. And he was thinking to himself, "Well, he, obviously, you never saw him play. He couldn't hit a wide open receiver when he was in Buffalo." Yeah, well, it, I mean, it was that. Was that? Was that Tyrod's fault? Maybe he was throwing it to the right place. Maybe the receivers weren't in the right location, Eric O. How about that? You know, Zay Jones, maybe was maybe his route tree was more like a 
like a a, a route crack, cro a crookedy crack, <laughs> not a tree. A route vine. A route shrub. If he was overthrowing guys like Sammy Watkins, Robert Woods, maybe they should be running faster, Erico. 8-8. Eight and eight. Tyrod Taylor and the Browns. And they got Jarvis Landry, primary. They got Jarvis Landry on the Browns. Hey, pen pals, Josh Rosen. I think this is the first Rosen we've seen. Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, and the Cardinals. The chosen one. Right, you got Miles Garrett. You're welcome, Michael. You are welcome. There's Derwin James. Leonard Fournette. John Kelly for the Rams to 199. That's right, former Raider coach Hugh Jackson, QB guru. Look what he did with Jason Campbell with the Raiders back in the day. Broncos to 99. Lorenzo Carter to 199. Look how composed he looks in the pocket. Face-to-face to, face to 299 And another Jamon Moore turn-of-the-century autograph. 71 out of 99 for the Packers. Another one for the last spot mojo, Paul. Cool wit. <laughs> Joe Howard countering with, look what he did with Deshaun Kaiser. Eh, well. I, I, that's on, I blame Deshaun Kaiser. Did we, I think we already got an N, right? Not even we're not even close to any of names. You got Baker Mayfield too with the Browns. There's Will Fuller the fifth. Nice, that must be numbered. Oh, there it is. Fourteen out of forty-nine. Some nice relics in there for an out of 49. Slightly thicker cardstock as well. Texans, Mike Thomas. Now, see, I Jamarcus, Jamarcus Russell. I blame Jamarcus Russell. I definitely blame Jamarcus Russell for being Jamarcus Russell. All right, Savros asking um, how those spot randoms work. It's pretty pretty easy, Stavros. Let's open this box right here. Right? Let's open this box right here. I uh, let's see. Basically. I'm reading off the item description. We'll randomize a list of customers who buy into the break. Thirty, We sell 30 spots. And we randomize those names and paste it right next to the list that you see in the item description. So the name on top after a randomizer will get the Yankees, for example, and, and pick your team three. And everyone else will get uh, either a spot in Hardcourt Supreme or Supreme Hardcourt Stadium Club Baseball or get a pack of stadium, a sealed pack of Stadium Club Baseball as like a constellation prize. So it's an opportunity for you to get the Yankees, who are like 500 bucks, 550 bucks, to get the Yankees at a fraction of the price, or the Angels at a fraction of the price. I yeah, well I don't know what Al Davis was thinking. There there, Al Davis in his, Al Davis did a lot of great things, you know, um, but I think later in his life. 
you know, he got a little bit older. Got uh, got a little set in, in the old ways. I think people were saying up until Al Davis passed away, I mean, later in his life, I think he, he was just making a lot of bad calls. And um, people were saying that they still use like overhead projectors. You guys remember overhead projectors? Some kids might not even know what an overhead... Some of the players might not even seen an overhead projector until they got to the Raiders. They're using overhead projectors, I think, for like to draw out plays and stuff like that. It was pretty bad. They've, they've turned a lot of things around though. But yeah, Al Davis was got got old and definitely lost his touch. I don't know why they picked Marcus Russell or gave him that much money. There's Matt Ryan. Another face to face. And Jared Goff autograph. Eight out of fifteen passing the torch auto for Clyde the Glide. Back back to hitting Goffs again. Clyde, look at that. Man, what a what a change for Jared Goff. Everyone left him for dead after his rookie year. Now everyone loves him. Out of six ninety nine, of course it doesn't match the total. Look at all the stuff we added. <laughs> Stavros out of ninety nine. Pen pals, Kalen uh, Balage for the Dolphins, for Derek. Let's see. On the other hand, Stavros, you can pay a fraction of the price. You're more than welcome to pay the five fifty for the Yankees, in uh, pick your team number four. Straight up. Or the Angels. There's Jimmy Graham, who still, who still looks odd in a Packers uniform. Out of 299. And T.Y. Hilton. Thank you, Hilton. Craftsman relic. Going to the Colts, Derek, with that one. Jordan Howard, not a letter. All right, three boxes to go. Almost there, folks, stay on target. After this, and a short a short breather for me, after this long break, everyone else should kind of stretch their legs too. I'll go through about 34 orders and see what we're going to do after this. I know I know one of the spot randoms are very close on jazpiecehobbyland.com, so check that out. Remember, Definitive 3 already sold out. Definitive 4 in the store, possibly selling out. We might have, we'll still have a chance to do Definitive 4 tonight. We'll have time to fill it and break it tonight if you'd like. We also have plenty of other options too. Hockey, basketball, stadium club, soccer, museum collection, ETC, ETC, etc., etc. So plenty on the website, folks. Just go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and check it out. And I would suggest, with three only three boxes left, I would suggest buying, especially if you're not in this break, um, I would start buying teams now. Like, like go to the website. Go to jazbeeshobbyland.com. Start buying things. Let's keep that momentum going. 
You know, so when I go through all of these orders, you know, everybody, you'll be like, oh, look, all, all these people are buying, you know, all these spots, blah, 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 blah. And that helps us build momentum to dive right into the next break without losing too much. Because sometimes we lose a little bit of momentum after an hour long break like this in the middle of the stream, middle of the show. But to avoid that, we've got to have the discipline to to buy spots and teams just before this break is over to build a bridge into the next area of Breaksville. All right, there's Terrell Suggs. We got another Raven, Lasley. For the Vikings. See, got Miles Garrett on the Browns, on the 8-8 eight eight Browns. We've got uh, out of 75, face-to-face, -face, Antonio Brown and Vontae's perfect. That's a good matchup. We'll randomize those left, right, gr grouped by their number. J.J. Watt, dual threats. What else can you do, J.J. Watt? Everything, if he's healthy. And, and, and an autograph. A one-of-one one autograph, Joe Howard. Turn of the century, Jordan Lasley. For the Purple Birds, play Joe Howard playing like a Raven today. What time is it? Ravens time. All aboard. Whoop, whoop. Like kind of a cracked ice look in the background. Do we like Jordan Lasley? I don't really know much about him. <laughs> Do we like him? It's a one-of-one one autograph for your Raven. So there you go, man. Nice. You are welcome. I am concerned that the A Nate Browns don't have Joe Thomas anymore. Yeah, that's all I know too. I was just like, I think he's a I was like, I think he's a local guy, and that's about all I know. I don't know when he was drafted. I don't know what where he is potentially on the depth chart. Has he even been signed yet? For the Steelers, for Michael Gallucci Steelers, Pen Pals, Jalen Samuels. There you go. Steel Curtain with that one. Odell Beckham Jr. to 24. Die cut. Think of that. Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon for the 8 and 8 Browns. There's my boy Khalil Mack. Mack attack out of 299. Healthy Odell Beckham Jr. Would be helpful for, for Hall of Famer Eli Manning. Extend his career a little bit. Put up some, add some more of those Hall of Fame numbers. Mark Walton. All I can think of every time I see this guy is, um, is, uh, is Lakers coach Luke Walton. I'm just like, they're definitely not related. Sean Watson. Elite coverage, dual relic. Texans, Mike Thomas. There's Lamar Jackson, numbered to 25. Look at this, Joe Howard. 12 out of 25, Lamar Jackson. I like that sparkly finish in the background. Lakers coaches LeBron James? I don't think so. Luke Walton. They're not going to let LeBron James do do that. Uh, yeah, Donald. Sorry, I, I, I saw that question earlier. I completely forgot to answer it. I got sidetracked with uh, probably talking about how I could tackle Baker Mayfield. Uh, <laughs> Email us, jaspieshobbyland.gmail.com, and we'll send your information to him, and you guys can get in touch. Think what you want, but you've watched the man for a long... Cody West, you're not the only one that watches basketball, my friend. Oh, come on, Clyde. Luke Walton's no Tyron Lue. 
Tyron Lue is the kind of man that gets stepped over by by Allen Iverson. That's the kind of man Tyron Lue is. He's got a he, they got a they got a, a a fake fake front office in Cleveland for the Cavs that just allows LeBron to play GM and run around willy nilly. You think you think Magic Johnson and Rob Palinka is gonna let that happen? Let LeBron James at the tail at the sunset of his career dictate his his terms. I'm sure we'll make some concessions, but I'm sure we'll compromise. I'm sure Luke Walton will, will work closely with LeBron James to maximize his potential. The Lakers aren't going to give him that kind of money for LeBron James to to run to run a team like that. Anyway, LeBron James, great basketball player. Amazing basketball player. Not a good GM. Not a good coach. Um, Cody West says, you get why we're not going to the National. All this Cavs and Baker. Man. Hey, I like the Cavs. I was born in Northeast Ohio. I have, a, I, have a, I have a soft spot in my heart for Cleveland sports. There's Marquez Valdez Scantling pen pals autograph for Paul Cool Whit last spot mojo. All hey, I've been saying that the Browns are going to go eight and eight. That's 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 been my hot take. I'm gonna, I'm taking the over on the points total. That's for sure. Or on the on the win total. I just think that I could probably tackle Baker Mayfield. That's all. That doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. That I don't think he's going to be a good quarterback. I'm just saying I think I could tackle him. And I'm just making fun of the Cavs' front office and their owner. There's Auden Tate. There's Saquon Barkley to 199. But I I have love for the 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 Cleveland organization though. It's just that that Cavs front office ownership. 58 out of 99. TJ turned down for what? Michael Gallucci sealed curtain. We got another out of 25, Terrell Edmonds for Seal Curtain. Not not a not a hater at all. Not a hater at all. Out of 199. I like the cow. I was rooting for the cow the entire playoffs. AJ Green out of 299. Out of six ninety nine for the Bengals. Wait, what letters did you need? Stephen K was R one of them. I don't know. The the your chat disappeared. I don't know. I was born in Warren, Ohio, right next to Youngstown. We've got an E for Drew Brees too. And Paul Warfield, 41 out of 49 for the Cleveland. Speaking of the Cleveland Browns, Matt Rourke with the Browns. They should bring, they need to bring that elf back, by the way. And I really do think that the Browns can go 8-8 eight and eight this season. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. The glides at is, isn't Daisy Duke from Warren, Ohio? I have no idea. Joe Jaspi's from Warren, Ohio. Oh, you need the R and the E. Boom. 
See, although are we are you supposed are we supposed to collect them in the exact parallels? That's a harder task, but but there it is. At least you can, at least you can spell it out for the time being. And then we can work on getting the letters for each of those those uh, parallels. Yeah, she might be a little bit older than me. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have like, I have a random, I have a random connection to that. I I feel like I've was used to be in the same circle. It's a very loose connection, as the stepdaughter of one of the guys in Dukes of Hazard, One of the main guys. There you go. Boom. Hashtag, hashtag Hollywood, hashtag name drop. S. Drew Brees. And Mike Kosicki. Pen Pals autograph. I like these Pen Pals autographs. That goes to Derek and the Dolphins. Not the Dominoes, Derek and the Dolphins. There you go. More letters. Alex Collins for the Ravens. That's out of 10. Some low number parallels for you, Joe Hauer. Nice. Cam Newton to two ninety nine. Keith Miller, throwback threads to 99. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that, Joe Howard. Yeah, the, 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 the jean shorts, the short jean shorts. Uh, a momentous moment in, fa in fashion history. Cortland Sutton to 199. AJ Green to eighty two. That's six ninety nine for the Panthers. Leonard Fournette primary colors to ten. Nice. Stephen Case's Daisy Duke still does car some car shows. How old is she? That's her Antonio and the Jaguars. The R for Jordan Howard. Ooh. Any guesses on this redemption? Last hit of the break. Could be a big hit. Who are the redemptions in this set? And there you have it, folks. All right. I don't know. We got close to Breeze again. We didn't get close to Jordan Howard. No, no, no one else we got really that close to, but. All right, Joe. Hey, thanks for joining, man. Good, Always good to see you. And congrats again. No, no guesses. It's going to be Turn of the Century's autograph, Red, DJ Left Shark. DJ Shark 
goes to the Jacksonville Jaguars. There you go. Last hit mojo for Antonio and the Jags. No, not Francisco Lindor, Stephen K. That would have been a good guess, though. <laughs> that one kind of got me for some reason. Usually it doesn't, but, but that got me. It's good timing. It's all about timing, Stephen K. That was good timing. All right, let's do these. Uh, we'll do the out of 299s first. We'll just go left and right. We've got the out of 99 left and right, and then we've got the out of 75s left and right. No other randomizers, no nothing. That was my last top loader, too. Man, nailed it. Perfect. All right, so let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get three lists. Left out of 299, right out of 299. The next one is left out of 99, right out of 99. And then left out of 75, and then right out of 75. One dice roll to rule them all. Three and a three, six times for each list. Six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right side out of 299. So all the right side... All the right sides will get him. Only one out of 99. That's three and a three, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six and final time. Right, no, left side. After six times, left side to 99 will get it. So that will be the Colts. And there were two out of 75s. Nice lower numbers, purple parallel. So the out of 75s will go left and right six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Side on top, right side out of 75. So Ravens side right here and Bengals side right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.